Hey my friend, welcome back. This is the Backyard Homesteader, queen of the five gallon bucket. Here today we're going to plant some onion starts. We're going to um, get going with potting up our sewing or I don't know putting our onion starts in the ground okay so I'm gonna mend the soil first and I gotta hurry because my camera's getting hot if you have a GoPro you know what I'm talking about <laughs> hopefully that's set properly so you can see I think it is here we go Okay guys, <laughs> sweat's getting in my eyes. I'm gonna turn the camera off now because I know that it's going to pop off itself. It's, it's hot, it's hot. So, um, I'll post a picture. I'm gonna show you right now what I've done and then I'll show you uh, a photo at the end of this video that shows you just how many starts we are gonna have of these red onions. Now, if you have any, whew, if you have any questions at all, please put them down in the comments because if you have an, a question, that means somebody else does as well and I'd love to get that information too. Ah, uh, I told you the camera just shut me off yesterday. This is the next morning. I did have to stop and um, go in the house and this morning it's gorgeous out here. I think it's 60 degrees. It almost looks cloudy and overcast, but it's beautiful weather. So I finished out the onions and um, I just wanted to <clears throat> show you I didn't water um, before I went in the house yesterday. I absolutely got overheated. So duly noted, if it's hot, your plans didn't work out and you can't get something done in the early morning, which that's my time. That's when I can get in the garden and do things. Otherwise, forget about it. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> then wait because now I think I may have lost a few of them because it didn't water because the previous soil was so wet I was afraid that um, it would be too wet anyway I think we'll be fine and let's take a look at what we ended up with shall we okay okay so here are the starts from yesterday you see there's a couple on the ground there those just may not make it but for, for the most part the rest of them look pretty good well it looks like I may have lost one over here as well whatever lesson learned every time and then over here so this would be like 15 or actually there's 15 per tote Three, that's 45 and then there's another three six nine ten eleven and here I just did these this morning you can tell the soil doesn't look all dried out and so what I'm going to do do you see this spot left right here there's a spot right in the middle there right where the trellis is so many of you know who Jess Sowers is with Roots and Refuge and um, by the time you see this footage, it will have been probably a week or two, but um, a gal by the name of Kristen Smith, she was a part of our community there on Facebook at Roots and Refuge, Friends of Re Roots and Refuge, and she ran the seed swap. We lost her. And um, so I have a Facebook friend, Beatrice, who 
she um, loves sunflowers I love sunflowers and she actually sells seeds um, in memory of her daughter Katie seeds for Katie and so I got those in the mail yesterday yesterday I think it was yesterday maybe it may have been the day before and so I'm gonna plant a sunflower um, in this spot with these new onion starts and I'm gonna pray over this plant for the next 30 days in memory of Kristen and I will continue to plant from these seeds from Beatrice and I believe there's 50 seeds I will continue to remember Kristen and plant one of these sunflowers periodically I will probably do a special um, episode on sunflowers and include Kristen and um, but I just wanted to go ahead and do this now Get it on camera and share it with all of you. Okay, here are the seeds from Beatrice. And we're going to place that right in between these two onions. And we'll keep tabs and I will share the progress as we go along. Here we go, Kristen. For you, sweetheart, may you rest in peace. Thanks so much for joining on this episode and you know get out there guys just start something will you plant something please share let's build up this channel so that we can inspire others to do the same thing and please share with me if you have your journey of being a backyard homesteader I want to see it share it with the world let's all take charge of our own food sources Till next time, peace. Bye now. <laughs>